Welcome back guys, as you know, all the beer no idea, I'm Baz. We're back with a beer review now, uh, off to Western Supermare, courtesy of Pitch Full Kales. Uh, and I picked this up while I was away, Ooh, nearly dropped it when I was at home. And it's a bottle of their Firebox English IPA, coming in at 6%, 500ml bottle. This was, send them for three quid, but I bought a, a, a box, so they come in a little bit under than that. 100% uh, British beer. It's bottle conditioned, unfiltered. Uh, says on the back, it's as close to cask as you can get it. Ingredients are water, pale ale, malted barley, progress and pilgrim hops. So uh, yeah, I do like their branding. Sort of old fashioned sort of thing, but modern if you like. So without further ado, let's get this beer out. And get it in the glass, see what we get. Absolute scorcher today, it's given Thunderstorms later though, by all accounts, and uh, I'm gonna get lots of rain, so. <laughs> Let's give this a bit of a swirl. See some difference in there. I've got the RCH Brewing glass, which is what they used to be about 10 years ago. So, plenty of sediment in there. Plenty of the, look at that, how murky that is. Plenty in there, there's a little bit of chill haze. I wouldn't say a lot. A lot of that is sort of murky anyway. No head on top, that's all sort of never really built up. So, yeah. I mean, you look at it, you wouldn't think it looks any good. So we'll try and give it a bit of a swirl. Get our nose in, see what, see what we get. Malty. Little bit of toffee sort of caramel thing in there. Little bit sweet. So I'm picking up much hoppiness in there. It doesn't smell horrible, smells all right. So without further ado, let's dive in, cheers. You certainly get the hop on the taste. Uh, let's go in again. Quite a bit of body to it. Carbonation's non-existent. Uh, it's one of them ones. Can't even get ahead on this, can't even. Like they said, as close to cask as you'll get it, which is doesn't surprise me, it's sort of like that really. Quite smooth, taste-wise, very malty. Bloody flies. Uh, very malty. Little bit of breadiness on the back end, definitely getting sort of Definitely picking the hops up in the in the taste. Uh, couldn't pick them up on the nose, but definitely getting them in the taste. Uh, a little bit sweet, like I say, that toffee sort of sweetness, malty. Definitely getting the hops in the taste. A nice gentle bitterness all the way through. You definitely get the six percent. It's not hiding the six percent. You know you, you know you're getting that. Yeah, and that bitterness is all the way through. Uh, yeah, traditional IPA, it's actually quite tasty. Shame there's so much feel of alcohol in it for me, uh, because it is it is quite drinkable. It, it, it really doesn't do itself any favours with how it looks, in all honesty, but the beer tastes all right, but you do feel that percentage. Uh, if they could have hidden that a little bit more, this could have been, I think, could have been very sessionable, but... because you feel it in there. One or two would probably be enough for you. But for a traditional sort of cask sort of IPA, that's very tasty, got plenty of flavor. Fucking flies doing my head in, bastards. Anyway, <laughs> Pitchfall Kales Firebox English IPA, very enjoyable, uh, traditional beer. If you're expecting something craft, don't. This is probably about as traditional as you can get it. Uh, but enjoyable, enjoyable. Just, just a shame about the six percent uh, that you actually feel it in there. But uh, apart from that, very nice. So, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, like, and share the video. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Big thanks to John, by the way, who's uh, I've just uploaded a video uh, from John. He's a subscriber. Kindly sent me some beers. Uh, so take a look at that. 
And that's it for this video. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another beer review later on. Cheers.